Hello and welcome to Inspiration Nation. I'm your host, Rachel Miller, and I am so excited that you are with me today. I am going to be talking about something that is so near and dear to my heart, and that is your intimacy and time with God. I've got a stack of goodies right here that we are going to discuss on today's segment. And I'm really excited about it because it's a lot of what I do behind the scenes that I believe is the core and the secret sauce to my passion for God and creates amazing consistency in time spent with God. And it is just, it's awesome. I have an awesome relationship with God. He is the lover of my soul. Um, I love spending time with God. And um, when you graduate from spending time with God as a chore to spending time with God being something that you look forward to, it really it changes your life forever. And so I'm going to give you some things that can hopefully help you go from having um, a chore-based time with God to um, desire-based, excited-based, intimacy-based. God is so amazing. Can't jump into his presence-based time with God. So this is going to be awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. So one of the first things that I want to encourage you to add to your library, if you do not have Jesus Calling by Sarah Young, I want you to get this devotional. It has been changing women's lives for at least a decade or so that I personally know of. Get this devotional. Um, I normally like to start my day with this. And what I'll do is with the Jesus the Calling devotional, it has scripture references um, at the end of each segment. And so, so it has the scripture references at the end of each segment, and I don't think you can see it. But then you can look up the scripture references. Now, I'm traveling right now, and I take all these books with me, so my suitcase ends up being so heavy. And I don't mind it being heavy because I like I like books. I prefer books over tablets. And I love touching pages and turning pages. But if you're real techie, they do have the Jesus Calling on an app and you can download it on your phone. I do have it on an app as well. Um, I also have my Kenneth Copeland um, Bible. It's the Word of Faith Study Bible. I absolutely love um, the large print of this Bible. It just... It illuminates things. It just brings the word just right at you. It just says hello. So after I get my scriptures from Jesus Calling, I'll go in, get my scriptures from the word of God. And then I just, you know, I, met, I look them up. I underline, circle in the word of God. And I just, I own it. Whatever the scripture references are, I own them, look them up. And I just, mm, it's just yummy. It's good. It just down to to the core of my soul so that's what I do with the Jesus Calling in my Bible okay so the next thing that I do is um, I recently I bought this book I think last year and I found it at the grocery store it was only you can still probably still see the red tag on there it was only $2.99 and I think it was like take 50% off and it was the names of God what an awesome deal I got to learn about all the names of God for like a dollar really who does that the information in this book is so awesome i've been one of the first things in here talked about god being your abba father and i think it's awesome that it starts here because you really need to know god as abba father but then it goes deeper into names of god that maybe you've never heard of before like elroy you know you would think elroy is like some guy down the street or something that lives in the county down the way but elroy el god Roy, R O I, God, your God, He is the God, El Roy. It means God who sees. God who sees. So in your prayer time, you can say, God, I thank you that you are, you, you know, we say, no, you you might say, you're Jehovah Shalom. Maybe you've heard that before. God, your peace. But you are also El Roy. You are the God who sees me right where I am right now. And you need to know that, that God sees you and God is aware. Of what's going on in your life so I I've been studying this this is good yes this is a Rachel's pick I've also been using um, my this is a new edition um, this is Nancy J Lewis's latest inspirational book called be intentional 
And I love this. You can be intentional about your time spent with God. And I go in here and I get one nugget. Um, and so I open it up and I just pick one, any one. It's a little short thing like uh, take charge and do what is right and in line with your goals. Ah, thank you, Nancy J. Take charge and do what is right and in line with your goals. So what are you doing today? Is it in line with your goals? So I love this, just little nuggets of inspiration that you can just kind of grab on the go. Um, <clears throat> and I'm not actually doing this in the order because I, I normally do this right after the Jesus calling or before I write in my gratitude journal. I like to do this um, sometimes at night and in the morning. Um, but I like to do it daily and capture. It allows me to capture the good things that are happening in my life and what I'm thankful for, what God did to me, favor that I saw each day, um, awesome doors that are opening, just awesome things that God is doing. So I really want to encourage you to get a gratitude journal. I bought this one from Target. And what I loved about the cover is it says, I totally got this. And so in Jesus' name, I decree you totally got this. This thing called life, you got it. And I just go in here and I write down things and just, oh, it's awesome. Like, having a gratitude journal is like the best thing ever. And then to be able to go back and you have a record of the things that God has been consistently doing in your life. It feels really good. Um, I've, I've read this book and I'm kind of reading it again. What if God wrote your to-do list? I try to read like at least one chapter out of an inspirational book. So this I swap out. It could be a book that I might be reading from Joyce Meyer. Um, I've also been reading The Purpose Driven Life by Rick Warren um, again. So there's books that I'll go back. And so that book will swap out with something else. Then this is a must have my book, 50 Pearls of Wisdom by Rachel Miller. Um, I'm reading this book. I'm actually teaching a coaching class right now. 50 weeks of virtual coaching that I'm teaching from my book and it's an awesome way to um, just orchestrate your life if you just feel like you're you're out of order and you just you want a new start you really want to reinvent yourself and you don't know where to start and so you can start with my book but you could also start with my coaching program and there's information on my website rmworldwide.net and uh, about that coaching program register for that it'll bless you and get the book then I use my sketch books. Oh my goodness, I love these. These are like my aha moments that I get an opportunity to write down aha moments that I get in the presence of God. And you gotta have a place to store those things. And um, love that. There's more information about that in my book as well. And um, I've been going back through some of my old journals from messages, maybe you have Sunday morning messages that you wrote down aha moments um, for me it's been teaching moments that I've had and I'm going back and I'm just re going back over some of the things that God has already spoken um, through me to me and uh, for me and just being reminded of those things and so by the time I finish doing all of that <laughs> all of that Oh my gosh, I am like on an all-time high. Then I top it off with my tablet where um, I have um, positive affirmations that I have spoken out, um, that I have created for myself, that I listen to and I speak. And then I even top it off, cherry on top, I use Elevation Worship Essentials. You gotta get it on iTunes, it's so good. Elevation Worship Essentials, and I just plug in just some worship songs. Oh my gosh, a lot of the ones that um, are sung in my church, it's just awesome. So it's like I, I have Sunday morning worship service with me all day, every day. I can start my day when I'm getting dressed, when I'm in the mirror, when I'm making it happen. Um, I just, I feel God and I love God. And he's with me and we walk together, talk together, fellowship together. I get aha ideas in his presence and then I go and do them. And so I just want to encourage you in this year, make your time with God rock. I mean, like go with God, go to whatever your next level is and, and let's begin to see all of the good, perfect, wonderful, amazing things that God wants to do in your life, in your life through you and for you in this awesome year. All right, 
So those are some of the things that I do to make my time with God rock. Go, make your time with God. Make it sweet, sweet. Oh, taste and see. It reminds me of the scripture. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Amen. So go taste and see in Jesus name. Amen and amen.